Across the country, in a place better known for its asphalt and palm trees, sail training was utilized in a unique and novel way. The ocean is kind of a mystery to many Los Angelinos because when I was a middle school principal in Watts, we had young people there 13 or 14 years old who, believe it or not, had never seen the ocean. They're within six, eight, ten miles of the ocean and have never seen it. They didn't know. They've seen it on TV, but they had never actually seen the ocean themselves. Fire in the hole! Retired LA Unified School District science teacher Jim Gladson founded the Los Angeles Maritime Institute in 1991 to take students out of the confines of the inner city and introduce them to sailing and the wonders of the Pacific Ocean. The school is not the blacktop and the bricks and the chain link fence and the books. That's not what makes school. School is where the kids are. Nicely done. You got it up to the guys and everything. That's great. Captain Alice Robinson and hundreds of volunteers work year round with school groups that can even include rival gangs. Ooh, looking fine, gentlemen. All the way. All the way. Hailing from a wide range of professional backgrounds, these dedicated volunteers use their unique talents to entice reluctant kids to take the helm or go aloft. It isn't just the experience of the ocean, but it's the real life situations that it could bring to kids. And that they would begin to see, wait a minute, when I climb up this mast, I really have to know what I'm doing. The LA Maritime Institute is expanding its fleet with the construction of two new wooden brigantines the Irving and Exe Johnson. Square rig vessels designed and built especially to maximize their sail training mission. And the reason why they're building two ships now is that the program has grown. People are starting to see in the educational community what you can do with sail training, how beneficial it is. Noted for his solo circumnavigation of the globe, Captain William Pinckney was not just in Los Angeles for the new Brigantine's keel laying ceremony but also to train and seek words of wisdom from Jim Gladson's crew before taking command as the first master of the newly built reproduction of the historic schooner Amistad. Our mission is to tell the story of Amistad, to tell the story of, of the first time that blacks and whites came together in a common cause and were successful. With Amistad, our purpose is to retell that story and get people to really look at it. To look at not only what happened in 1839, but the ramifications of that that are in place today. Amistad and the LA Maritime Brigantines will join the ever-growing fleet of sail training vessels to grace the tall ship parades of the future. It's incredible how the public has just taken on a love for the tall ships. There's something so appealing about the connection with exploration, the history of the sea, uh, the fact that it's international, the crew manning the yard arms. It's very dramatic. It seems to have general appeal to people who know nothing about the oceans. It's, it's really wonderful. For those who do, and whose aim is to challenge and to be challenged, there is no finer cry than sailors aloft. One of my ambitions as a boy was to sail in square sail. And I finally did it, courtesy of the Coast Guard and Eagle. Went aloft for the cadets every day, went at sail stations, went out on the yard, scared the wits out of me. Ship was moving in on such an easy way, soft, warm breeze, sounds, the rigging. It was so exciting. Such a, I guess romantic is not the word, but uh, to me, a very moving experience. I just didn't want to have it end. To those of us who look on in awe at the beauty and heritage celebrated in the sturdy hulls of these tall ships, there is a common respect and fascination for the ships as well as the men and women who sail them. But to those who've dedicated their lives and passions to the waves of the sea, these stately vessels represent something intangible but no less important. For in their graceful forms and clouds of sail, they embody the dreams of future generations with the wind at their backs pushing them onward to destinations unknown.